Hello and welcome to my little Halloween yeah, jump scare um, collection. We start with the inventor, or maybe just similar to the inventor, the Alone in the Dark series. Very famous, also in 3D for the PC from Infogram. Um, two is a little bit strange with not so interesting puzzles, one is an instant classic and three is very good and has a very good soundtrack. What's not so good was the fourth part, new installment, a little more um, adventure than uh, survival horror and the black sheep alone in the dark five. Uh, first of all it doesn't have any numbers, why? Don't know. It's just alone in the dark five. The next in the line. Maybe you heard something about this. It's called Resident Evil. Zero is a little bit strange. Um, it's not so good. It's not well done. Uh, this is for GameCube of Resident Evil 1. It's a remake. Uh, it changed a lot of the puzzles. But it has also the bad known corny dialogue. Resident Evil 2, one of the best zombie shooters out there, it's an instant classic. Number 3 of installment was not so good, it's okay but it's not really, really great. Code Veronica maybe is the better part 3 and when we have Resident Evil 4, one of the reboots but one of the better reboots and the current installment, Resident Evil 5, it's more like a zombie shooter but it looks very nice. And now we're going crazy! <clears throat> something like that. Maybe you heard something about this series. This is the movie. This is Silent Hill Origin. That is okay, but not very good. Silent Hill 1, maybe the best thing on the planet. This is survival horror. It's a living mindfuck. It's an awesome game. The critics Love Silent Hill 2. It's a good game, but it's a little bit. Uh, it's not. Mm, there's something missing. I know it's a. It's very good uh, portrait. The, the characters are nice. Uh, the story is okay and has a lot of uh, things to talk about. There's something missing. Three, maybe the first sequel to Silent Hill One. It's a very good game, has a very great amusement park from hell. I love it. The fourth installment, maybe it's very Kafka-esque, but it's it has great visuals, great sound, maybe the best soundtrack of a whole series. Well, but it was not my game. Uh, and then if you have uh, Find the Girl, it transfers a little bit to Ico. Uh, no, I don't think that's, that's a real good Silent Hill game. Homecoming, very good looking. It has the same transition like the movie, it's really well done, but later in the game it changed the, compl changed the direction completely and moved to a hostel, what's a little bit too strange for the series. Um, don't know what they're thinking about, uh, we will see about Silent Hill Downpour, it's just postponed, uh, maybe it's a better thing. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, the reboot of the first Silent Hill. I know it's not so... maybe you see it better. It's a very good game, it's, it has a very good concept. Um, well, no fighting skills, no things you can, can done, but it's very well done and it's very worth to play and it has a, brings a lot f to the table for the whole series, so uh, it's really interesting. And where's a digital novel? Don't know where I get it. So, here it is. This is Silent Hill. And now it's time for the special games! Very famous for its uh, nudity and violence, Phantasmagoria 1. I love this game. This is very nice. This is a Sierra game. The makers from King's Quest. It's a little bit different. It has a good taste. It's very nice. It has also a good soundtrack. Uh, just look for it. The sequel. 
Phantasmagoria. I think the English title was Pl uh, Puzzle of Flash, and I think Spoonie made a lot of fun of it, and believe me, it's worth it. It's a bad sequel. Uh, it's really strange. This, this game is not so great. The next one, S Seventh Guest, one of the first horror games for the CDI. This is the PC version. Um, it was really famous. Uh, it has a lot of puzzles and you walk like uh, in a mist game, but it's not so great. It has a good reputation, but I don't think you really need it. It's the same for the sequel. 11 hour. It's not so great. The next installment. Denolet! If you ever want to play Lost with Zombies! This is it. This is a nice open world game and you have a lot of fun. It's not very special, it's not good like the trailer of course, but it's a, it's a nice game. The better zombie game of course. Left for Dead! It doesn't... maybe it, uh, it's, it has the same name like a new sitcom with Ashton Kutcher. No, um, Left for Dead is a really good zombie game. It's a really good corporate multiplayer experience. It's really nice. Splatterhouse! Splatterhouse is a strange game. It's very bloody, it has a lot of gore, uh, but it's not one of the greatest thing on the planet. The plus side is it has all the, the complete trilogy Splatterhouse 1 and uh, 2 and 3 on the same um, CD here. If you want to uh, play through it, I think you unlock them. That's a nice thing. And now, talking about zombies! We need Dawn of the Dead. Uh, <clears throat> bad joke. George R. Romero knows why it's a bad joke. This is Dead Rising. This is Dead Rising 1, Dead Rising 2, and this is Dead Rising the DLC, if you want to call it. It's just like the second with, I think, one or two new, new locations and with the amazing Frank West. <clears throat> Dead Rising is a neat zombie game. It's maybe Dawn of the Dead as a game, as a whole, if you want to call it as a free, uh, as a trilogy, it's a great game. If you love the George R. Romero series, this is your game. It's a must-have. And speaking of your game, you want to play a game? Oh, oh. Yes, Konami did some Saw games, Saw 1 and 2. <sighs> Maybe Saw 1 is acceptable, Saw 2 is just like a puzzle game. Um, no, you don't need these titles. The, one of the best GameCube titles ever is Eternal Darkness. It's based on HP Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu series and it's an awesome game. It plays with your mind. This is Eternal Darkness. A must have for GameCube owners. A must have. Have House of the Dead Overkill. If you love the House of the Dead series uh, for its corny humor, its violence, House of the Dead Overkill is the Quentin Tarantino version of it. It's an awesome game, it's very nice looking, great soundtrack, it's absolutely funny, uh, and it never appeared in Germany. Of course, thank you very much. The next one. Dead Space! Isaac! Here, Isaac. Silent here, Isaac. Talking! Uh, Dead Space was a thing for EA with uh, Mirror's Edge as a test. And I think this series is the better Doom 3. So if you ever want to uh, experience uh, zombies or dead people on a space, you play Dead Space. Alan Wake. This is the definition of a Stephen King video game. It's good, but it has a lot of flaws. Well, it was a problem, but the story is good, the setting is good, it has nice shocking effects. Um, we play a lot with jump scares. Uh, it's a Stephen King game with all Stephen, Stephen King problems. The next thing Stephen King, Lawn Mover Man, and. 
The other one, Cyber War! Haha, <laughs> uh, the whole collection! These are the games based on the Lone Mover Man. And, um, yes, I just have it uh, as a collector. Forget them. And if you ever want to ask what about a mad scientist game, this is a mad scientist game! Woo! Okay, more the first one, but the first one is also on this game. So if you have Day on the Tactical, you also can play Manic Mansion on some arcades, I think. Uh, and Manic Mansion is the typical mad scientist game and a very good parody of it. And now we're done. We are done! <laughs> Happy Halloween.